Luis Felipe Scolari must be a mightily happy man. Today at training, Jose Basingua and Claudia Pizarro have returned to the full deal. And that is, of course, six days before the first game of the season and around three weeks after their respective injuries. So here at a record turnout on an open day, we've got around 12,000 people. Only two players are not in training. And they are Didier Drogba and Michael Essien still rehabilitating from their respective injuries. Didier the knee through the close season and also Michael Essien's knock against Lokomotiv Moscow a week or so ago. Today, the West End Lower was going to be the only area open for fans with the contingency of the shed should a lot of people turn up. But training had to be delayed for a full half an hour because even at 11.15, 15 minutes after it was due to begin, the queue went back to Fulham Broadway to gain attendance. The East End Lower and the Matthew Harding Lower have been opened as well. We reckon there's over 12,000 people here. And the ones, the superstars they've come to see, apart from the old names, the regular names, seem to be Deco, who got a massive uh, reception when he came out onto the pitch. And the manager himself, Luis Felipe Scolari. Not forgetting Steve Clark, still here after all these years. Clark is joining me on Friday for the first big match countdown of the season. You can talk to him then, but let us talk to some of the fans now. It's uh, huge, isn't it? Um, the queues were massive when we got here, so yeah, it's a good turnout. It's good to see all the players playing, like, really going for it out there as well. And uh, our new manager seems to uh, be warming to the crowd as well. So that's good. Yeah, it's cool. What were you most looking forward to today? Just seeing the players again. Miss the ground, so it's good to be back. It's been really good. And so cold, obviously. <laughs> what, what, what are you most looking forward to this season? Seeing how the manager is. I'm looking forward to having a new manager and some of the new players. Deco, I think it's going to be pretty good. I look forward to it. He got a great reception, Deco. He did, yeah. yeah they, it's a great team, isn't it? So um, hopefully we win everything this year. In the whole wide universe, how many people with Liverpool accents support Chelsea? About uh, 15. Do you know all of them? No. How come you're a Chelsea supporter? Because uh, my family lives down here and my granddad's a huge one. Who's your favourite player? Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard. Why? Because he's a really good professional player. He's the best. <laughs> so I like to come to days like this where you're definitely going to be able to get him. Favourite player? Um, Frank Lampard. Because? Just, you know, he's been there the whole time and he's, you know, you can always rely on him. So. Are you surprised by, by the turnout? What were you expecting? Oh no, when I heard it was free I knew people would come because it's football's an expensive business and it's free today, so yeah. I'm here on holidays and then I was just around, you know, as a Chelsea fan. I come in here to get my jersey and then I see the flyers is free and I'm like, oh my God, I must be here. I cancelled all my plans today. I thought I was hang out with some friends, but I said, no, I'm coming, I'm going to come here. I have to get a stamp for the bridge today. I have to see, I, look, look at it, man. It's, it's unbelievable. To the likes of John Terry, who's like my role model. They're like, I'm really impressed with Frank Lampard, everybody, man. I'm really excited, man. Really excited. In your heart of hearts, do you think Liverpool really will avoid relegation? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Not sure. <laughs>